Okay, hello everyone. Today I am uh, redoing all of my badge videos. This time in one single video. Some some badges will be explained on how to get it. Some will I will show you some of them, but if I don't if I don't the ones I explain for will probably take too long. And because I'm on my main account, I won't be able to show you how to get these properly. So, let's switch to an old account. Hello, this is a new account. You can see here I got- I just got a welcome badge when joining, first joining the game. That's very nice, actually. Now, um, I won't specify the names of the badges because i forgot the names but yeah so the first badge we could you could get is spare time which is play the game for five minutes simple explanation it says in the the description killing time play the game for 30 minutes time flies play the game for an hour simple right now it's there. Many people are confused on how to get this actually. Um, you said you have to stare at the clock for 10 or so minutes? I'm not really sure, but it's probably 10 or so minutes. Now we write a letter. Write your f and it says write your first note. So we're gonna go to here. We're gonna go here and type in anything you want. So for example, I'm gonna type in like, I'm gonna type in have a good day to anyone reading this. And you guys are watching this video, so you're technically reading it, kind of. Now since you got the note, you get a badge call you write a letter. The game says to write a letter, so... Simple explanation. Rubber dog. Rubber dog can be obtained when... When a full bath is full and you sit in the bathtub until you get it. Pretty much you get a duck, rubber duck animation in one of my videos. And we have a video and we have a badge called hmm, basically just sit, to sit on the toilet, I guess. I think, at least. Um, step into the white room. Simple. You step into the white room up here. Then you will get this badge. Step into the white room. Now. Now. And how to get. And how to get. Stuck in here. You have to step into this room. You get that. And how to get the void badge. Is stay in here until you're. Full screen is turned to black and white, or you're in first person. Simple, simple, right? It's, it's, it's gotta be that simple. Now we're gonna do the metro. What we're gonna do is grab the candle as well, cause it gets you. Oh, you got two badges. Let there be light and down. Now this is a uh, now. Now you might be wondering how I got this code. Um, simple, there's like, a note and a puzzle in the abandoned store, you might have seen that before. So the code is 7419. 7419. I think. 7419. Then you get the, the hammer. And it'll say you got it. Because you've got the badge. Now spare time. See, I've been in here for five minutes. I got spare time. Now what you're gonna do is hammer the wall till it breaks like this. Now you hold your candle and step inside here. Then you will get the metro. Hooray! 
So now we're gonna go back. So now we're gonna find the key for one of the badges we're gonna get soon. Oh, the key is. Well, I was lucky. Where does it go? You get the badge. Where does it go once you find the key? The first, the first location. Thank you to the person who uh, who gave me the idea to look in the kitchen on one of my videos. The key is right here in the oven in the kitchen, first floor, where you spawn. Now the key could be in this drawer drawer as well. In this in here as well. Now we are here. We are here in the white room. Just basically just go there go into the library and you get the badge so many books for going into the library <coughs> now what you're gonna do is get if you don't see the key in one of the spots i just showed you the key might be in the library up up here once you climb up the ladder go straight you might see the key up here right right here or around there I don't know. It's it's confusing. So so this is what I mentioned basically. Abandoned store for entering the store. So you see this thing, right? And you basically swap around that, swap around everything until you get seven four one nine. And this is your clue. At first. Right here, these are number four numbers. Now you get a badge for buying something in the store. I think. I, I think at least. So base. So I but I don't have enough money to buy any of these. But buy you can buy all of them. Because if you drink, eat. Because if you eat all of these, like one bite, right? You will get, so basically once you drink the entire can of Bloxy Cola, you will get a badge. It's simple, pretty much. Eat all, eat until it's like out of your hands. Now, now you have a bowl. You will buy a bowl if you can. Basically, buy everything in the store. Now we will head outside here. Run, run to your left. Keep running. This is one of the known known badges you could get, but this is one of the less known. Thank you for the first per thank you for the person that showed me this, and like actually that showed me this. So once you have the key, right? Oh right, yeah. There's another location for the key as well. Um, the key should be in that igloo somewhere. Into, if you go into the igloo and then there should be a key in there now what you got the key in the spots or in any of the spots i showed you there's this like angled tree if you from from over there you go here you will see an angled tree you can just slide over there i haven't done this in a while um now go up go up pretty much now oh, you will see this house that just appeared right get a badge for going inside the house i think but um if you click on the window it'll have an animation you might want to move away from the door though yeah so this is so this is where you get off track you insert the key in there and crouch in. Then you get the badge unlocked. Now I will put this right here. Now we are going up the stairs for the second for the ba third badge we get window. The third so basically go to the third floor and you and go to the window. Pretty much, and you get another badge. So, okay. Now, one of the badges has a thing called I Love Coins, which is Reach 400 Coins. 
400 coins is the max coins you could get for playing the game. And it will take a while, but um, it's worth it, I think, if you're a badge collector. So, you probably have more items than me, because I am poor on this account, because this is a new old account. But now you go straight. Straight down the road. And you will reach this. Yeah, there's a log cabin that's frozen over. Right here. Log cabin. Snowy cabin. Now if you have a bowl, you can use the bowl and get the soup. And to get one of the badges. To get one of the badges, pretty much, just drink all the soup in the bowl. Now we're gonna get the newer badges, but the last two, but the last two are meat, Midland, and meat hash. I can't spell the devs' names. Oh god, and meat hashery, hashery. I think that's what, how you how you spell it. Um. And if you meet both of them, you get badges. So if you meet both of them at the same time, you get at least three badges in total. I met one of the devs before, but um, I think it was before the badge update because I didn't get any badge. Now you get frozen light. Hooray! Now before we get oh, before we get one of the um. The pouch that's right over there. There should be a trowel right here under the bridge, and it will say a trowel. <laughs> now, now, there should be, there could be one right, right around here. You could even, there's even a set, set right over here. I haven't seen that before, actually. <laughs> It could be around here somewhere. There should be one. We're in the shore. I don't know. Could be one. There could be one here. They added the upper floor, so basically check every single spot in the house to find the travel if you didn't find it under the the bridge. Now, do you see this? Like, oh, okay. Um. We're gonna go get the pouch now, but if you see this lake, there might be a trowel over here. Now what? Oh god, I'm stuck. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now, the pouch, right? Okay, the pouch is really hard to get. Only... If I check the badges, only... 3,000... 30,000 people have it. So, follow the torches very much, but um, you might fail a couple times on your first run. This is the second torch is near a lake, and the third torch should be on this rock over here. Now you don't need to touch the torches, but you just need to follow the path of the torch. Now, this is the most confusing, but you have at least one quality on the Slovax you could get. One or max quality, but I recommend having one quality on for this. And you see those particles, you go straight to those particles. You see uh, a torch. Then tor another torch. You don't go straight, you, you wanna go to, you wanna, how do you run here? You're gonna have to go to your right, over to this pile of rocks, and then cross here. Now this, that torch is a bait, don't go there, obviously, cause it isn't wet. Now we will have, have these um, rocks right here. Now, where the last rock leads to, I- Oh god. Okay, where the last rock leads to, you try and, um, oh. Okay, 
you try and find like a steep hill here, and we'll almost ascend back two times. Um, this lake over here. Now you can follow the rocks. Now if you try to skip over one of the rocks, you will get sent back because these rocks count as paths or torches. So now the now it will lead to a torch. Now you go straight to the pillar, correct? You you sign this arrow and you will see that skeleton bones. You wanna go straight there because there is a wet torch there. Don't go to the to that there yet. Cause this is much closer to there. Now you wanna go straight. Hop over and go down. Follow go exactly down into the tail. Now follow these pillars or rocks. Now we will have a torch right here. Now follow the path torches. The path of torches will lead you to here. What? Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to. Okay, I'll get. Okay. I'll catch you guys after I get back there. Okay. okay, we are back at the last torch. Now... Oh, hey, just basically just go straight to... What? Never mind about earlier. I actually didn't... Okay, anyways, once you get over to the rocks... What you're gonna do is find these, um, these, um, platforms or like stairs that surround the rock and just go up them. Now we will have this, um, path. Be careful because your arm might be blocking and it'll block a quarter of your screen. So that's fun. Now the pillar. Um. Well, um, attempt five. Okay, we are back on attempt five. Oh, oh, okay. Now don't go into straight in the rock. Go past the rock. Wait. Um, so basically, um. After you reach the torch, go around to the left, or just stick to the rock. Oh hey, we can run now. Go, 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 go. Oh god, there's more storms. Okay. Now, torch. Now go straight and find the torch. Now, there's another torch. Now, if you don't see any torches around, um, you can see there's a rock. So follow the rock trail. Um, yeah. Ta-da! We got- Oh! Oh, I'm gonna have to cut some things out then. 
We have the pouch. Hooray! Now you can store at least 10 items in here. The pouch is only for items as well, so let's reset out of here. You still have the pouch with you if you saved all the items in it. Remember to take. Before, um, yeah. Now let's go back. Now the next badge we will try and get. And the last badge of the day, actually. Which is the pink room. I'm like the pink room buff. I, I like call calling it the pink room buff for no reason. So what you're gonna do is go back. Now if you're doing this in the same server that you are following this video. Um... Basically, you would still have the hammer if you actually follow what I did. But, um, yeah. Well, 45 coins. Might as well buy a cola while we're walking there. You know? Um. Okay. Now, the chat is weird. Well, let's buy a blocks of cola. What are they doing? Let's buy a blocks of cola. You get who am I pay paying? Now drink the blocks of cola. Why is there a note? Oh god. People are weird on this game. Don't turn my mention. Now, since we have. You're gonna have to take your candle and travel out. Just cause, you know, that's just chalk. Now walk over here, now you'll see this pattern. Now you have to travel with you, right? Basically, so you'll see this pattern here. Have to travel and click, and just tap or click on it. Now slowly crouch or just hurt. Or just not crouch. And okay! Um this is the end of the video. Ignore the people in the corner. Um yeah, ignore the people in the corner. Okay. This is okay guys, hello. This guys, this is the end of the video. Um, make sure to subscribe and like for more batch videos or recommend what video I should, uh, edit or make a video of. I would try and find a way to get those badges with a couple friends, a couple badge collector friends of mine. And, um, stay tuned for another video and turn on... Oh wait, did I already see that? I'll, I'll, I'll double check. Anyway, subscribe, click the like button, and turn on notifications to get more uploads of me. Yay! Even though I'll probably upload less if you guys don't give me ideas. So, hooray! Anyways, goodbye everyone!